When you conduct research for your papers and projects, you always need to cite your sources. To cite your sources means to point to the evidence. You need to show where you found the information you used in your research. There are two steps to citing your sources. Step 1, citing your sources within your paper. This process involves giving credit within a research paper through parenthetical citations, also commonly called in-text citations. Step 2, preparing a list of sources you consulted. This process involves giving credit at the end of a research paper and is commonly known as a work cited list for the Modern Language Association Style, or MLA. So how do these two steps relate? Think of in-text or parenthetical citations as a trail, and that trail leads to the work cited list. Let's look at a sample paper with both components. For our purposes, we'll add some color to show the connection between the in-text or parenthetical citation and its accompanying work cited list. Notice that within the essay, the citation is brief. In the work cited list, the complete citation is provided, including some main elements such as author, title, publisher, date of publication, etc. The trail from the essay to the work cited list is evident and allows others to easily locate your sources. So why bother with citations at all? 1. Citations help others find the information that you used. 2. Citations help establish the credibility of your own research. 3. Citations connect your work to the work of other scholars. 4. Citations allow scholars to enter into dialogue with each other. And 5. Citations are a way to honor and acknowledge the work of others who have made your own research possible and citations help you avoid plagiarism. For further assistance with MLA citations, please visit a reference librarian.